Hi guys, welcome to the channel and to the energy update for my friends Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, so let's find out together what's coming through for you. Energies for you, the Knight of Swords and the Nine of Wands, energies for your person, the Sun and the Justice. Between you and your person we have the Eight of Pentacles, meeting energies, the Word, the Three of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles. The Oracle cards, a leg up and go the distance. Guys, it seems that some of you can be upset, Knight of Swords, with your person because they didn't show up properly in favor of the connection with you in the recent past. You may not like the effort, Eight of Pentacles, that your person has put in favor of the connection with you. So one man up, one man down dynamic. No fairness, no respect, no balance, no equal give and take. I want to say that the situation has gone a little bit cold between the two of you, but your person can try to make the first move in order to offer to you the opportunity to work things out so they can say that they want to make things right, the justice, because the connection is still a source of satisfaction for them. Do you feel the same? It seems to be something questionable. If we follow the Nine of Wands, the Wounded Warrior, you can be kinda detached at the moment, behind the wall. You may not want to talk with your person because you can be disappointed with the overall situation. The Knight of Swords can even be an encouragement in order for you to avoid the triggers, the fights and the arguments that maybe have played a role against the connection in the recent past. You have to ask yourself if the situation is over, the word, or if there is some space in order for you to look for new agreements, plural, with your person in order to honor the Three of Pentacles, which can be the chance to build new, stronger and better foundations in favor of this connection. I just want to say, guys, that the sun can even be an energy about the self, and so your person can kind of put themselves on a pedestal if we think about what can be good for the connection, you know? And maybe you didn't like that approach along the connection, now you have to take that into consideration as well, because if there were no support and cooperation in the connection, a leg up or a quick card, and you get the perception that these factors are still off the table, it can be almost impossible to go the distance successfully together. Instead, you may go the distance, yes, but kind of as far as possible from this person because the connection can be over. So let's pull more cards. Let's see what we can get. Here we go. We have the Knight of Swords again for the Knight of Swords. Seven of Pentacles for the Nine of Wands. The Tower for the Sun. Seven of Swords for the Justice. Ten of Swords for the Word, not in favor of this connection. The Fool for the Three of Pentacles. And the Page of Cups for the Six of Pentacles. You can get an apology. The apology can be too little too late, guys. The Seven of Swords is a tricky energy. Lies, betrayals, deceits. According to the scenario, it can be a matter of self-sabotage on your person's side if it is a matter of effort or a lack of effort. For others of you, maybe in a more unpleasant situation, there were lies, shenanigans, and maybe potential betrayals. If that's the case, the connection can be basically beyond repair. Seven of Pentacles on your side, you have put the connection a little bit on the back burner because we can say that you got disappointed by your person and by the overall situation. The tower can be a realization, guys. It's like your person can realize that all of a sudden they can lose the connection, even if they thought that everything was kind of fixable between the two of you. The fool seems to be like a coin flip because your person wants to try again. So even if we consider the word, they want another chance. Instead, from your perspective, the fool can be the opportunity to put a closing point on this connection by powering through the word and the ten of swords and then move in a different direction 
because at the end of the day, this connection maybe has expired its course and your person doesn't seem to be in the position to do anything about that. The apology, the page of cups can be lovely, yes, but it is absolutely too small on an energy level. What should you focus on in a situation like this one? The necessity to avoid the arguments because you can be super upset. Double Knight of Swords. We have the Two of Swords, a crossroads, the Lovers, another one. Heart of Head Decision, Five of Swords. This is a problem, guys. So your person can be self-centered. Page of Swords and the Three of Wands. Expectations have been let down. You have kind of detached from the connection. Your person understood that. Now they will try to say that the two of you can fix everything together. Highly questionable as a perspective. The figure in green and violet in the Five of Swords is the bearer of the Three of Swords for me. You can look at your person like they are the heartbreaker. So you can start to think about the opportunity to leave the battlefield behind. The battlefield is the connection, guys, because it's not working. And your person has played a major role in this dynamic in the recent past. They can try to seduce you. I do not feel that this is going to work as a strategy. You can keep the interaction super simple, especially when you get the apology from your person, but it's like it is not genuine. It's not heartfelt. So you can say just a few words and then because you do not trust the connection anymore, moon in the background of the two of swords, you can close yourself for protection and so that you can avoid the fights and then make the decision that can be the best possible one for you. It seems that you can turn your back on this person because they are not deserving of your trust anymore. And then the fool can be a new chapter, yes, but without them. What's the obstacle? Maybe the fact that this person doesn't want to lose the connection and they can try to manipulate the situation or make it more complicated for you. We have the King of Swords, the Six of Cups, the Nine of Swords and the Hanged Man. The King of Swords can be about the opportunity for you to connect all the dots when it comes to this connection. It's a process, guys. Because of the Hanged Man, some of you are still in the middle of it. Then you may not want to talk with your person, but it's going to be necessary. The Six of Cups can be about memories. They can be involved. They can play a role in your decision. What can be questionable are the intentions of your person. They can say that they truly want to make things right. It seems to be too late. The Nine of Swords is an overall anxiety that the two of you can experience, but for different reasons. You can be overwhelmed by the connection because you are on the losing side of the arrangement. Your person can kind of freak out as soon as they realize that they can lose the connection. It's like they can lose control over you and you can detach more and more. You can also consider the opportunity to go away they cannot stand that. The hanged man in this case is about an uncomfortable situation that we can say, and then the opportunity for you guys to change your mind about your person and about the connection. Maybe it was good in the past. Now the situation is completely different. I feel that some of you may consider deeply the opportunity to move in a different direction. Let's ask for guidance about this situation. We have the Ace of Wands. This is not the answer, guys, to the problems of this connection. It can even be a tricky energy if we think about potential betrayals, because maybe your person pointed this energy towards someone else. You found out, you got upset, it was a deal breaker and then the domino started to fall, basically. Six of Swords, Crickets, told you the connection has gone quiet already, kinda cold, 
again, moon in the background. This person can even try to come clean about something, maybe their behaviors, maybe something that they did. It's not going to serve them well, it seems, because some of you may just want to leave the rough waters behind. Your person can try to say that the two of you can do that together. You may be of a different opinion now. The moon, here we go. Something that is different from how it seems to be. And then lies, shenanigans, something that was kept secret or unclear on purpose. It's a contrast considering the sun, but when this person basically lays down all their cards on the table in order to try to save the connection with you, the tower can fall apart because maybe some of you in the meantime uh, can make up your mind, but in order to make a different decision. Eight of Swords, feeling stuck, like there is no way out, but we know that this is just a perception. And the way out in a situation like this one is represented by the necessity, for those of you that can resonate, to stand in your power and also take your power back, because maybe this person truly thought that they were in control. Seven of Cups, questions, doubts, an overall indecision. I want to say smoke screens because this person maybe has tried and they can also try again because of the Five of Swords to manipulate the connection with you. It's like they can try to make you guys feel guilty if you point out that you want to move in a different direction because you are not satisfied with the connection anymore. This can be a manipulative behavior coming from your person. So I think that you need the King of Swords because then you can handle the Seven of Cups and the Moon. You can get the clarity that you need about a connection that is not balanced. There is no equal give and take. There is no support. And this is not a partnership because of that. It's a one man show, one woman show kinda that can be all in favor of your person, you are on the losing side of the agreement. And I think that the time is almost up. There is going to be a conversation that is not going to be pleasant, guys, but you will have to handle it in a mature way. Do not fall for the arguments. You can make clear that you do not feel that this is the situation for you any longer, anymore. And then you will have to be smart in order to move away from this person because they can try to complicate the situation for you, but I do not feel that they can be successful. The tower is about to fall and it seems that it can fall for good. And then you will start over. You will start fresh by manifesting the fool in a different scenario. Guys, I hope that I made myself clear and this was helpful somehow, some way. If you want to comment, like, and subscribe, it will help our channel to grow. So thank you. And until next time, I wish you all the best. Take very good care of you and I will talk to you soon. Bye.